Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 20th of 2019. Well, it is titled ARP 273 battling galaxies from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, we see a pair of galaxies, a large one up uh, up above and then down below it a smaller one. And if we consider these from the perspective of spiral galaxies, they seem to be a bit distorted and deformed. And that is correct. That's actually what the ARP catalog catalog was was an astronomer who went through and looked for peculiar galaxies galaxies that did not show the ordinary structure associated with spiral or elliptical galaxies but looked close enough they weren't vastly different like any regular galaxy where they had no spiral structure but where the spiral structure was distorted and what we have found is that this is due to interactions between galaxies so these two galaxies are actually associated with each other and are in the process of colliding. Now a galaxy collision isn't like an automobile collision where things smash together in an instant. Galaxy collisions can take a hundred million years to actually collide. So they will slowly pass through one another. Stars just passing by never colliding. Gas clouds colliding and you can see that towards the top of the large galaxy where there has been some interaction and a lot of bright blue stars. When the gas clouds collide that enhances the star formation. So far more stars forming and therefore more distinct blue color that we see here. So that will happen. And then in the long run, the two galaxies will eventually uh, combine into a single galaxy and will calm back down. So the disturbed state that we see for a peculiar galaxy like these only lasts a short period of time during the collision. After a billion years or so, they will settle back down and look just like an ordinary galaxy. Now we not only see those galaxies in this image, but you also see a number of stars. Here's a few of them noted. And there are these are stars within our galaxy, even though some of them may look like they're within these other galaxies. It is just a matter of perspective. They happen to be right in front of that galaxy, but are actually much, much closer to us. So the three stars that I highlight here are actually stars within our own galaxy. However, we can also see many more distant galaxies. And here I'll mark a couple of those. Uh, we'll see about three of those galaxies. There's far more. If you look around the edges of this image, you can see far more galaxies as well. And these again are not associated with these two galaxies, but just happen to be in the same general direction on the sky. So these galaxies, the prominent ones are about 300 million light years away. The fainter ones could be several times as far away as that. And of course, the stars themselves might be only be a few hundred or thousand light years away and within our own galaxy. So within one image, we get to see all those different uh, distances uh, represented as everything that just happens to be in this one direction on the sky. So that was our picture of the day for November the 20th of 2019. It was titled ARP 273 Battling Galaxies from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.